the buzzing sound of a drone, often associated with military use. But flying drones for commercial purposes has become increasingly popular, and South Africa has now legalized it. There are tremendous application benefits uh, in using this technology. And we do forecast that there will be a rapid growth, an explosive growth of this technology in South Africa. We need to prepare accordingly. Drone pilot Michael Muller is only the second instructor in the country since licenses began to be issued. He says drones will create more business opportunities for pilots. We had an opportunity in a park with rhinos to help protect them with the drones. And that's where we really started operating the drones and instructing people. Once a camera is attached, drones can also be used in industries ranging from agriculture to mining. So far, the highest demand for drone licenses has come from the local film and production industries. The Civil Aviation Authority expects interest across a number of sectors to grow substantially because using a drone to film is cheaper than using conventional aircraft. To ensure the unmanned aircraft remains safe, laws regulate how close drones can be flown to buildings and roads. These aircraft are made from consumer-grade electronics, meaning that their failure rates are yet to de be determined. There's a lack of engineering and scientific data, and they could fall at any time. One could attach a firearm, one could attach a bomb, a chemical, biological or radiological weapon, and then fly it into a building or a group of persons, even into an aircraft. South Africa is the first country in Africa to issue drone licenses. Veteran pilot Ian Melamed wants those licenses recognized across the continent. The problem is the amount of regulation requirement, the amount of detailed work that is required to ensure that there is a safe standard. Because what we're talking about is mixing in our air space the safety of manned flying with unmanned flying. While flying commercial drones remain illegal elsewhere in Africa, South African pilots say the benefits outweigh the risks. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.